the uh, financial crisis and its political ramifications. And uh, I just, the format will be that each of the panelists will talk for uh, 10 minutes or so uh, about various aspects of this issue, and then we'll have opportunity uh, for general discussion. Uh, we actually don't have this room at all. We're hoping that uh, nobody else has reserved it before <laughs> 6 o'clock, but uh, we'll be running to about 5.45, and then there might be a little bit of time after that for, for people to, uh, to talk further. So let me say uh, uh, the order of uh, speakers will be Masami Imai, who will be speaking uh, on this problem today. And Richard Grossman, Professor Grossman is um, both Basami and Professor Grossman are Basami and Imai and Professor Grossman are in the ACON department. Uh, Professor Grossman will talk a little bit about the historical context and parallels. And uh, Professor Eisner and Professor Eisner and Lim will be talking about the political ramifications. <coughs> and Tom Cannon from our investments office will talk a little bit about the living the market <laughs> through the turmoil. So. I guess uh, each of us is given only 10 minutes or so, so I'm going to keep it short. Of course, there are a lot of interesting details to talk about. You know, me and Richard were talking about you know, mark, mark to market accounting and <laughs> special credit default swaps and stuff like that. But those things are important, but quite boring. So <laughs> anyway, so what happened? Well, there are macroeconomic and microeconomic reasons for, for what happened. Of course, I'm more than going to focus on this uh, the macro. Of course, the detail is quite important, but uh, I guess it's just one So we know that the housing bubble took <coughs> off, uh, and that's uh, supposedly supported by the, the tax monetary policy after the top com bubble. Yeah. And it, uh, unfortunately, it collapsed. The problem, though, is that the financial institutions purchase these securities uh, back by mortgage payment, and they bought a lot. Okay. And then the value of these assets declined dramatically by 20%, and its focus has been declined by more than uh, additional 10 to 15% or so. So the future seems to be a little bit good. But the problem so that uh, purchasing these assets is a problem. But additional problem is that these assets are purchased by issuing short-term debt, such as commercial papers, yeah. instead of issuing equity capital. So as soon as these assets, the value of this asset declined by just a little bit, since these financial institutions are highly leveraged, they went into a region of insolvency very quickly. Yeah. And also, instead of issuing long-term debt, they issue short-term debt to finance it, so they're in a position of having to constantly roll over the short-term debt to, to keep, the, keep the operation going. 